uh, thanks for the introduction. And I'm Donghyun Dong -hyun Kim. And in this talk, I'm going to present a novel recommendation model to consider ratings and document context information. So let's start. As, a pop, as, you, <coughs> as you already know, as a popular uh, metric spectralization is a popular model based collaborative filtering technique for recommendation to generate user and item latent models. And these item latent models are used to predict unknown ratings and it can be regarded as metrics composition problem. So like, like this. And with this, with these predicted ratings, we can uh, recommend proper items to each user. But interestingly, uh, according to the mention of, um, mention of Koran's previous work, uh, these, these latent models can be plotted to two dimensional space and we hope we expect that these uh, user and items are placed on a proper position to two dimensional space. But however, when the rating matrix becomes extremely sparse, user and item latent models will, will not be well trained and, and it results in uh, inaccurate position of users and items on, to, on two dimensional space. And these inaccurate item user latent models cannot give good or better and best recommendation for each user. So to handle this sparsity problem, many authors have found the benefit to metric spectralization, uh, incorporating metric spectralization with textual information such as review, synopsis, abstract, etc. And these are these are actual, uh, actual descriptions of, um, of uh, many items. And, and as a research trial to understand description document for recommendation, um, collaborative topic modeling was introduced 2011 KDD by using LDA. And by inspired, inspired, inspi um, inspired by previous work, collaborative deep learning was introduced KDD 2015 by using uh, stack denoising autoencoder. Uh, but however, they still use uh, backwards mo models of item description to generate item latent models. So here is question. Uh, are they enough to analyze description documents? And in other words, is it okay to ignore surround words of word and word order? The answer is no. In natural language processing area, considering surrounding words and word order, word order as contextual information improves the accuracy of word vector in the word embedding, uh, which was, uh, it, this result publi was published in NIF, two, uh, NIF 2013 as word to vector model. So uh, what if recommender systems are able to capture or understand contextual information in documents? We can expect that uh, more accurate item latent models will be generated through a deeper understanding of uh, item, item descriptions. So, and this expectation is plausible based on the previous work, so the con contextual information should be considered for better recommendation. So for those reasons, uh, we develop a novel document context of our recommendation model, convolutional matrix factorization. Uh, and it satisfies below three properties, and, to, uh, and it is to, uh, these are to, uh, they are to consider contextual information and to effectively exploit both ratings and description documents, and to jointly optimize the recommendation model in order to properly predict ratings to items of users. Actually, ConvMF is inspired by convolutional neural network. Um, for the natural language processing and IR tasks, many kinds of CNN have been actively developed to consider local contextual information in a document. Typically, CNN consists of convolutional layer and subsampling layer to extract local, a meaningful local contextual information. So here is an example of CNN architecture for sentiment classification. 
Um, in uh, this model considers surrounding information for sentiment classification. So as our trial research our trial to generate more accurate item latent models for uh, better recommendation, uh, we use CNN and we model simple CNN architecture which con consists of four different layer and each different layer uh, each layer has uh, different purpose, different purpose, and and an embedding layer is to transform a row description documents into a numeric document matrix by using word embedding models. And in this layer, we can use pre-trained word embedding models for better better uh, recommendation, and which is and it is uh, another advantage of CNN instead uh, compared to LDA or FDAE. And above embedding layer, convolution layer is to extract contextual features from a document matrix by using multiple shared weights. For more detail, each contextual feature is extracted from, from uh, extract, extracted by the similar way of sliding window to consider surrounding words or word order and they compose context to feature vector. And then a uh, pulling layer is to extract representative features from the convolutional layer while dealing with variable lengths of documents. And then finally, a document latent vector is obtained, obtained through nonlinear uh, projection in up layer. But however, the existing CNNs cannot cannot effectively predict unknown ratings to the same item for, for, uh, to, for individual and different users. So to deal with this problem, we adopt the way of probabilistic metrics factorization, which was published in NIFS 2008. And in this work, ratings are appro probabilistically approximated by uh, the variables of users and items. So with this probabilistic approach, we integrate CNN into PMF for the recommendation task to, uh, to predict unknown ratings. So we, and we model a simple probabilistic graphical model in, in here. And here, here, is, uh, here is what variables there are. And each variable, each variable follow um, Gaussian distribution. So among these variables, item variables plays an important role of the connection between PMF and CNN in order to exploit ratings and description documents. So uh, with this uh, distri distribution of variable, we can construct posteriori distribution and uh, to solve U and V and W variable, we use map estimation. We use map estimation. So, by taking negative logarithm to posteriority, the posteriority, we can obtain loss function here, and we use coordinate descent to update latent models U and V per iteration because U and V can be solved analytically. And the interesting is that. Uh, item latent models is updated by the summation of rating part and document part with uh, balancing hyperparameter lambda v, and and if if high, uh, if the value of lambda v is high, uh, the item latent item latent model will be mainly updated by the document information. And but. Double variable of CNN cannot be solved analytically as we can do for U and V because CNN has multiple nonlinear properties. So, but however, fortunately, when U and V are temporally fixed, loss function L becomes an error function with regularized terms of neural network. So, we can optimize double W variable by using backpropagation algorithm with given target value VJ. So one iteration consists of uh, up, up, consists of u u and v update 
and W update procedure. And then uh, from now on, I will give our experiment, experiment and research. Here is our data set, and this table shows uh, the statistic of the, our data set. And below two figure shows the sparseness of sparseness and skewness of our data set. And as you can see here, AIV, Amazon data set, is most, the most skewed and sparse data set. And our baselines, uh, our baselines are here. And additionally, we compare, compare ComBMAP with ComBMAP Plus to check the impact of pre-trained world embedding model. And we measure RMS score, which, which is the conven convention measure in the recommended system. And this is our result. Mm, this table shows that uh, shows the rating prediction error of uh, five models on each test data set. And improve indicates that indicates relative improvements of ComBMF over uh, best, the best competitor CDL. And especially in the case of, um, in the case of the, uh, in the case of extremely sparse data set, our models shows extremely, extremely significant improvements. So, and then also we can also see minor improvements by pre-trained word embedding model. Overall, uh, ComBMF and ComBMF Plus achieve significant improvements on all the data sets. And we also investigate the, high, uh, the best performing value of hyperparameter lambda u and lambda v. And as we've discussed before, lambda, uh, higher value of uh, higher, uh, higher value of lambda v, v implies that uh, item latent models will be updated by, will mainly updated by uh, document information and lower lambda, lower value of lambda u implies that usual latent models are, uh, will mainly update, will be mainly, mainly updated, updated to uh, latent, to the direction of Latent, pro latent space of item latent model. So this, natu this, natu um, this natural pattern, pattern demonstrates that ComBMF is well modeled because extremely sparse data set requires uh, a, lam a higher value of lambda v to use content information. And we also uh, investigate the impact to a pre-trained word embedding model. And as you can see here, uh, the, test, the test error of ComBMF Plus gets decreased as the dimension size of word embedding gets higher. So it is, uh, it is obvious because uh, information contained in the uh, word embedding model gets richer when the dimension size of word embedding model gets higher. So lastly, uh, we, uh, or lastly, qu this qualitative, qualitative experiment uh, verifies whether ComBMF is able to distinguish, distinguish, <coughs> distinguish subtle contextual differences. So, so we compared context, contextual feature values of base, phrase, including a uh, word trust by kept, uh, captured by uh, two different shared weights of CNN. So note that a higher, val higher feature value has more chance to affect the performance of uh, ConvMF. So the interesting is that when we, repl when we replaced a word trust with uh, believe face as semantically similar word, but Synthetically different word. The differences between uh, that test phrase implies that uh, W 
weight variable W11 is more likely to capture trust edge of verb, and W186 is more likely to capture trust edge of none. So this result implies that we, uh, uh, Convo MF, can consider the same word differently with different context. So this result, uh, so this leads to a deeper understanding of documents and uh, gives further recommendation, further improvements in recommendation. So, in, in conclusion, we demonstrate that considering con contextual information provides a deeper understanding of description documents, and we seamlessly integrate CNN into PMF. And since CombMF is based on PMF, so CombMF is able to be extended to combine other MF-based recommendation models such as SVD++. So this is the end of, end of my presentation. Thank you for attention. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Dong Yong, for the presentation. Are there questions? Oh, I have... Uh, one question about um, uh, the evaluation procedure you adopted. Uh, I see that you used uh, error matrix uh, yeah. in order to evaluate the quality. Did you also try accuracy matrix? Uh, why did you choose error matrix in order to evaluate uh, the results? Did you, did you try uh, also recall or precision or classification matrix? Mm, actually, uh, this data set is uh, explicit data, feedback data set, so I think that Mm, the better, 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 uh, the better recommendation model to predict ratings is more. I think that it is more proper, uh, more, more suitable to measure our model. So we can consider the other metric, but I think RMSC is the convention of the uh, our area measure. So we use it and thanks. Are there other questions? Oh, yes, one there. Can you say a few words about the uh, your setup? Um, did you use any libraries? Oh, we use Keras library, and detailed experiment setting is in are in our paper, and we, actually Keras is powerful framework to develop deep learning method. Okay, so if there are no other questions, I would like to thank again our presenter.